Hello there, Gemini. Thank you so much for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the week of April 11th through the 17th. What we have coming up for you on Monday is we have the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is just telling me that you have some kind of relationship in your life that is moving in a positive direction. So a lot of people like to associate Two of Cups with a romantic relationship, and that's true. It could be romantic. However, it's not a requirement. <laughs> Cups cards do have to do with emotions, but they don't necessarily have to do with romantic emotions. So when you've got a Two of Cups upright, there is some relationship, whether it's family, whether it's romance, whether it's friendship, whether it's a work relationship, but it's moving forward. It's moving in a good direction. So some type of relationship moving in a good direction on Monday, Gemini. Now on Tuesday, what you have coming up is you have the Nine of Clubs. The Nine of Clubs is telling me that you're kind of, you're feeling a little bit defensive about something on Tuesday. There's something where you're kind of putting up the guard around yourself here. You're not sharing as much of yourself with the people around you as maybe you normally do. Um, just feeling like kind of keeping quiet, keeping things in. To me, it seems like not so much keeping secrets, but like there's information that maybe you would have normally shared before, and now you're kind of holding that information close to your chest because um, you know what you think of this information and you're happy with where you are with it. Um, I feel like you also know that other people would have something to say about this, whether it's their business or not. <laughs> and since it's not necessarily their business and since you don't feel like hearing it, <laughs> I don't think that you're going to be sharing this information and just giving them fuel to um, start giving you advice when you're not really feeling the need for advice. Okay, so that's what I have coming up for you guys on Tuesday. On Wednesday, what I have showing up is the Magician. The Magician is the Master Manifester. So this is really talking about you on Wednesday. This is you being able to take the resources at hand and make them into what you want them to be. So whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest in your life, you're starting to look around and realize, wait a second, I've got everything I need to make that happen right here at my fingertips. And you're starting to do that. Now on Thursday, what you have coming up is the Four of Coins, and the Four of Coins is showing up in reverse. This tells me you're taking some money out of savings. So this is money that you have stashed away. Maybe you stashed it away for a rainy day. Maybe you stashed it away for an opportunity, unknown opportunity. Maybe you stashed it away for a down payment on a car or a home or to buy a new phone or who knows what. Okay, but this money is now coming out of savings or out of that stashed away place and so is it being spent on what you stash it away for for some of you yes I'm feeling like for the majority of you is actually being spent on something that has come up that you just have to spend the money on you really don't have a choice you have to do that and so some of that money is coming out of savings to go towards that I don't feel like most of you are wiping out your savings for this um, it's just that you don't have the other resources in your regular expendables to be able to cover it. So you are digging into savings to cover whatever this is. Hmm. Let me get a drink here and then we'll move on to Friday. Excuse me. Okay, so Friday what you have coming up is the King of Clubs. This is somebody that you're interacting with on Friday. Somebody who is um, very creative, thinks very much outside the box because of this really great at problem solving. Um, somebody who likes to really go with the flow. This person does not like to plan ahead. If you try to plan ahead with them, they'll either tell you, you know what, I just don't make plans that far ahead, or they'll say, mm, okay, I'll be there. And then you've got a 50-50 shot of them being there because if something better comes up, they're going to go with that. They're going to go with the flow. Your best way of getting this person to go to with you to something is to call them 20 minutes before you walk out the door. I'm going to such and such. Do you want to come with? Um, that way they're not really planning anything. They're not obligated and then worried that maybe something better is going to come up. They know whether they want to take this offer or not. Um, so this is somebody that you're dealing with on Friday. I feel like for some of you, you are having scheduling issues with them. I feel like that's why Sacred Spirit put it on me to make that such a big deal as I was describing them. Um, 
but they're really creative and they can be a lot of fun to be around. They definitely keep you on your toes um, with their ideas. Uh, I don't think they're real consistent necessarily about how they want to do things. Like they may tell you, let's go do such and such and 20 minutes later, the plan changes. Oh yeah, let's go do this. Um, so that I feel like that's really keeping you on your toes, but they are so much fun to be around and they're full of adventure and full of life. And so I feel like, um, you know, you are hanging out with them on Friday and enjoying most of it. <laughs> I think the non-planning is kind of getting to you, but the rest of it's pretty much fun. All right, so Saturday. What you have showing up here is the Hanged Man in Reverse. I love the Hanged Man in Reverse. He's dancing a jig. He's so good. People are throwing roses at him. Isn't that a fantastic card to have in Reverse? So the Hanged Man in Reverse is just telling me on Saturdays, Gemini, that you had a situation you were feeling a little stuck on. Maybe you were taking some time to meditate on it or to really just think it over in a quiet, relaxed manner without a lot of pressure from other people. And you were able to come up with a solution to whatever the situation was. So before where you were feeling kind of stuck and like you couldn't move forward with this situation, now you're feeling like, oh, I know how to handle this. Let's go. That's always a cool card to get. Now Sunday, we have the Six of Coins in Reverse. Six of Coins in Reverse just means somebody is coming to you and asking for help. So this could be financial help. In many cases, Gemini's, this is gonna be for some kind of financial help. Maybe somebody's just gonna need a few bucks loaned to them because they don't have cash someplace where cash is required and they didn't know it. Maybe um, somebody needs a bigger, much bigger <laughs> loan than that, or maybe they're hoping even for a gift from you financially. But there are also other ways that people can ask for help. Somebody can um, come to you and ask basically for a shoulder to cry on. Somebody can need someone to bounce ideas off of. So there's a lot of different ways that for people to come and ask for help. But I do feel like on Sunday, someone is going to ask you for help and you get to be the one to decide, you know what, am I going to Am I going to offer, offer this help or not? Am I going to provide this help or not, I should say. Okay, so that is your week, Gemini's. Thank you so much for stopping by, for sharing, commenting, subscribing. I've forgotten something in there. But I do appreciate all of your support, even when I can't remember exactly how all you guys give support. <laughs> I would say let's chuck that up to a senior moment, but since I plan on living to 120, I really can't say I'm a senior yet, so I have no excuse. Anyway, I really do appreciate all of your support. Everyone have a fantastic week, and I will see you guys back here the next time. Peace out. So, Gemini, what just happened for you <laughs> is I did the first video, and then I forgot to change my little marker that lets me know what sign I'm on, and I started the second video for you. And when I started the second video, I started thinking, didn't I just do Gemini? But then I told myself, no, I have a system. Of course I didn't. I'm just thinking that. So I went ahead and did a second video for your week <laughs> as if I hadn't done a first one. So there must be some reason Sacred Spirit wanted you guys to get some extra bonus information this time around. So what I'm doing is right after this explanation, you guys are going to see the second recording that I made for you. Both of them are just as true as the other ones. And of course, both of them are general readings. So not everything is going to apply to everybody out of any, either of them. But hopefully the majority of it will apply to the majority of you. <laughs> Everyone have a fantastic week. Here's part two. <laughs> Hello there, Gemini. Thank you so much for stopping by for your tarot video forecast for the week of April 11th through the 17th. Gemini's, what we have coming up for you on Monday is we have the King of Swords in reverse. This is somebody that you're dealing with on Monday and this somebody is very moody. <laughs> What's interesting is this person is someone who normally suppresses their feelings. And so when their feelings actually come up, um, that kind of freaks them out. So feelings are up. They're not feeling very hot because of those feelings. And then they're freaked out because they're feeling feelings that aren't making them feel very hot. So it's kind of a double whammy on them. So they get double grumpy. So yay for you that you have to deal with this on Monday. Sorry to have that news for you. The best thing you can do is just let this person talk 
and not pay too much attention. Know that it's just because they are in a bad place. And whatever they're saying, if they're saying anything personal about you, know better than to take it personally. Understand that this person is just in a real bad place. Okay, so then let's move on to Tuesday. Here we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is telling me that you're taking some kind of rest Tuesday. To me, the Four of Swords, I usually see this as a forced rest or forced downtime. This is when something comes up that keeps you from doing everything that you would normally do during a day. And so when we have this type of forced downtime, what happens is we have time to think about things that we normally would not really consider. They just wouldn't really hit our radar screen. But since we do have the time to think about things, we have perspectives that are changing as we're evaluating and looking at these things that are coming up in front of us. And so we go into this forced downtime as, you know, Gemini 1.0, and we come out of it as maybe Gemini 1.3, but it's the new and improved version of you with more updated and accurate uh, perspectives about things going on around you and in your life. So not all, whoops, sorry, <laughs> not all is lost. I have a little wand of selenite I'm here playing with and it accidentally flopped down and hit the desk. So anyway, um, let's see, let's move on to Wednesday. Wednesday, what we have coming up is the Four of Cups. This just tells me for you, Gemini's Wednesday is going to be a really easy day for you guys to decide, mm, I want to have a pity party. <laughs> it's going to be an easy day for you to feel sorry for yourself. going to be an easy day to take offense at other people. Obviously, whenever this comes in, uh, this is kind of miserable. I mean, having a pity party feels so justified at the time, but if you really look at your emotions as you're walking through that pity party, you know that you're not happy. You're not even close to happy. You're just wallowing around in that misery like a pig wallows around in a mud puddle on a hot day. You don't want to do that. It's not fun. Wallowing around in misery is not fun. So instead of the pity party on Wednesday, if you see this ahead of time, you do have free will. If you want to, you can change this energy. It's up to you. You can keep this energy the same and wallow around in that misery as long as you want. <laughs> but you don't have to. So what you want to do, if you want to be happier, is focus on the opportunities that are around you and not focus on the things that aren't going right, but focus on the things that are good. That will help you definitely get through this whole situation so much more quickly and so much more productively and so much more happily. Okay, so that's Wednesday. Let's move on. Get a Mr. Offer soapbox and move on. Thursday, Seven of Cups coming up. Seven of Cups just means you are daydreaming about how you would like things to be in your life. There's a shadow side to the Seven of Cups, and I guess I'm going to tell you guys what this is just to make it a little bit easier to recognize when it comes in. So the Seven of Cups, when you're starting to daydream about things that you would like to have better in your life, what is it that you're kind of noticing that makes you think, I would like to have things better? You're kind of noticing the things that aren't making it so much better. So um, there's a little bit of contrast going on in your life. There are some things happening that you're not so thrilled about. And this is why you're daydreaming about, well, how could things be better um, whenever we come across you on Thursday, Geminis? Now, Friday, you have a fantastic card. This is the Ten of Cups. This talks about a new level of security. It also talks about happiness within the home or within the family life. So lots of different ways that it can manifest, all of which are good, good, good. Okay, so Ten of Cups, if we're talking about a new level of security, this could be that you get a raise on Friday. You get a new job that you like better on Friday. This could be you get a bonus on Friday. This could be... Um, your company decides to pay for your cell phone or for your uh, vehicle allowance or a housing allowance. This could be um, that you're getting a new vehicle that you are happy with that is bringing you more security. Maybe your other one was kind of not making you feel so secure riding around in it. <laughs> this one is. Maybe you're getting into a new secure, more secure home in a better neighborhood. Maybe you're adding on to the home you have. Maybe you're bringing a baby home. Maybe you're taking a relationship to the next level. That makes a lot of people feel more secure. Um, lots of different ways that this can come in, but it does talk about home, 
family life, and material security, all wrapped up in one in the Ten of Cups. Okay, so that's what you have coming in for Friday on Saturday. Wow, you had the Four of Cups earlier, now you've got the Five of Cups on Saturday. Five of Cups just tells me that there was something that disappointed you previously, and that when it disappointed you, you sort of changed your perspective about, and you changed where you were putting your energy about this thing. And so some of the energy that you were pouring into this, now you're pouring it somewhere else. You're realigning those priorities so that you are putting more energy and more effort into something that's not going to bring you the same kind of disappointment that you had earlier. Now, on Sunday, two of coins showing up in reverse. That's interesting. I don't normally get this translation with this card, but I feel like something's lost on Sunday. And I feel like it's a very literal thing, like the car keys are lost, or important documentation is lost, like a passport is just lost. Um, but I feel like something is very physically, tangibly lost for you guys on Sunday. And I can honestly say I have never, ever, ever got that in a general reading for somebody before, for any sign ever. Um, but yeah, that's how it manifests. In fact, the normal ways that it manifests, I'm not even going to tell you guys because those those are not coming in here for this time for this. So this is the car keys are lost. Maybe you lost a check for a job that you did. Maybe you lost, uh, maybe your wallet's lost. Um, maybe you lost your favorite pair of shoes. I don't know exactly what, <laughs> but it feels like it's a very tangible something that you're having a hard time finding on Sunday. So, okay, well, <laughs> there's your week, Geminis. That's kind of a comical way to end it. I hope you guys find whatever it is quickly. It does seem like it, it's not lost forever. It's not stolen. It's not missing, missing. It's just that it's been misplaced, whatever it is for you. So anyway, Gemini, that is your week. I do appreciate all of you stopping by, hanging out, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I appreciate all of your support. Everyone have a fantastic week. I will see you all back here the next time around. Peace out.